Okay then guys, today we're taking a look at three masks that you guys will need to be utilising for majority builds, I would say, bar a bleed build, but that's a whole different mask altogether, and that's a whole different video. But these are the Glinstone Crowns. These masks are really, really hard to look at, but really, really effective. So we're going to show you guys how to get them. Like, subscribe, and let's crack on with the first one. So we're going to start off just here. You need to have had access to the main academy gate, which is obviously in the main academy. And this is going to be a bit of a tedious get to if you've not already got this location. Again, I'll leave the link in the description for you guys to go to. And everything is going to be located in here. So if you guys want to go and check that video out and then come back, you can go and grab all three one after another. Now, once you've actually done all of this, we are going to be heading up these stairs just here. And we are going to see two of these sorcerers. These sorcerers are a bit of a nightmare depending on your level, but you should be able to take them out quite easily if you've been playing the game for a little while. If not, it may take a few attempts to get past those. Sneaking past the left hand side, we're going to take a solid turn and make our way towards the left again. This is going to take us out to the tombstones. Now the tombstones are a bit of an eerie area. It does get a little bit dark, so if you've got a torch or a lantern, then make sure that you're utilising that before you come out, unlike me. And then once you get to the main rope bridge, you're going to be wanting to curb straight over that as well. Keep going through the second gravestone area and we're going to be taking a solid left up to the main building and through the main doorway this is going to be taking us to the main location which is going to be essentially going to be like our central for most places to go so we're going to make our way up here and we're going to make our way through these double doorways Get through these double doorways, you'll see the lifts on the right hand side. You want to hop on the Kasuna lift as quick as you can. And then once you're on there, you are going to be waiting for the next stop. I know, it sounds it sounds like a really bad story from New York, don't it? But you're going to be jumping straight off here and landing on this platform and making our way through to this room. Now, every single... Um, mask that we've got on this video is going to be starting off from this rune so make sure that you take note of where this is because we are going to be starting off here for all three masks now you want to take a solid left for the first one and we are going to be making our way through this hidden wall we're going to roll against it and it's going to open it up by going through here you want to jump off the ledge on the left hand side and we are going to have to do a little bit of parkouring nothing too difficult if i'm completely honest but if you're afraid of heights well this is this isn't going to be fun the next difficult bit to do is noticing that you can actually scale the rocks on the left hand side and make sure that you figure that out because you're going to need to jump up those rocks as they do stairway up to the top and around the corner is going to be the first mask. This is an easy one to get your hands on, nothing in the way but there we go, Glinstone Crown number one. And next up, like I said, we're going to be starting off at the schoolhouse, and this is going to be the next crown that you guys are going to be going for. This one is going to be taking a straight right, and you are going to have to run past quite a lot of sorcerers. So if you are a low level, I highly recommend getting used to zigzagging, just because you won't be able to run straight through 9 times out of 10. You will have to zigzag to avoid a lot of the shots that come off from these guys. So make your way all the way up these stairs, and if you haven't already completed the quest line for this academy, in here will be a red wolf boss you will have to take out that boss unfortunately because you have to maneuver your way through this room so if you haven't taken this one out then that's a bit of a nightmare but take it out and then we can move on to the next bit from there we're going to be making our way over towards this main direction out the doorway like i said we need to make sure that we've done that room to make sure we can get through the room and we're going to be making our way outside taking a solid left you're going to notice that there is a load of um, sort of like rubbly bits down at the bottom you're going to want to make your way towards that you can see the big chest of drawers or the big wardrobe whatever you want to call them I definitely call them a giant wardrobe they're just annoying taking a hard left you are going to see a end of a cliffside and just in the corner is a crab take out that crab and there is glinstone crown number two nice and easy so far so good one more to get let's go and get it Okay, so next up we have got to head back to the schoolhouse classroom and we're going to be heading straight through, making a solid run all the way through the sorcery area yet again. Again, like I said, a lot of this is just around the same different areas. So it's a little bit of a nightmare. It's just different parkour routes and stuff like that, but it all centralizes around the same area. Like I said, if you are quite low leveled, make sure you are zigzagging, make sure you are jumping around because you are going to need to avoid the sorcerers 
Then after you've done that, you will come up against the boss, like I said, if you haven't taken him out already. Make sure you take him out, and then once you've done that, you are going to be able to make your way through to the next room. Okay, so going from here, we are going to speed things up, because this is quite a bit of a journey for this one. It is a little bit of a nightmare, but we're going to be heading up the left-hand side, where the main rubble levels are, and then we're going to be jumping over the stairs, past this, and again, watch the sorcerers. Zigzag is always the best mention. Off onto this roof, and we're going to be making our way through the rooftops where we're going to see two ads on here. Make sure you take those out because it is a bit of a nightmare trying to scale the rooftops when things are shooting at you. And there'll be one or two more. Make sure that you're doing that with range mainly. If again, if you are low level, it's going to be a little bit, a little bit more difficult than if you are a high level, of course. Once we get to here, you are going to notice that there are things sitting on the lamp tops. You want to take those out primarily because they are going to be a nightmare. Take one shot off on them and then make sure you hit them once they hit the ground. Don't waste that second that second glintstone or anything like that. Just make sure you, you take those out and you will see another sorcerer that comes through here. We are going to want to take the sorcerer out and then make our way through after we've taken out the final little bloody birdie nightmare on top of the lamppost. From here, we're going to be running and doing a little bit more parkour through the rooftops. And we're going to be jumping it down from here and down here again. We're going to be jumping it down here again and jumping off onto the ledge in front of us. Once we've done that, we're going to be making our way round and making a way off of this rooftop. There is going to be an ad at the bottom, so watch yourself. It's a bit of a nightmare. Then once we get inside here, this is going to be a part of a quest line, so you can do this if you want to. But when you drop off onto this chandelier, you are going to find a key. This will help you in the near distant future. Anywho, once we've done that, you want to get prepared because you have to take out these sorcerers. They are a bit of a nightmare. They follow you all the way round. And uh, yeah, it's a bit of a bit of a ball egg. Once you've done that, you want to head back over the bridgeway, and you will see one more sorcerer. Take that bad boy out, and we are almost there. This is going to be the same as um, the other one with the crab. It is going to be a single crab that you guys will be able to go ahead and hit. Now, apparently, they do take quite a bit of damage, so it is a little bit frustrating. But again, a little added extra. You can get the shattering crystal as well just here if you want to grab hold of it. Anyhow, from here, we are going to be making our way back over and outside the doorway on the right-hand side. You are going to notice that in the corner, there is a little glowing crab. So we're going to take that little crabby poo out, and lo and behold is the final mask. That's it, glintstone crowns obtained, and this will work for majority of builds. So make sure you grab and hold of those, and like I said, there is one mask which we need to get hold of for blood builds, but we'll get into that in a different video. Thanks again for watching guys, like, subscribe, appreciate all your faces, but as always, until the next time, I'll see you in the clouds.